good morning students today we'll be doing chapter 3 expansions of class 9th so i just want to start with this one formula that is a plus b ka whole square equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab over here this is called the expanded side expanded side and this is the product or this is also called the uh, product side why is this called the product side because you guys can see a plus b whole square it means there are two same brackets i can also write this as a plus b into a plus b this means that a plus b is getting multiplied two times and when you multiply these brackets then you are going to end up getting this a square plus b square plus 2ab in the previous classes we have already studied about uh, this kind of formula a plus b ka whole square a minus b ka whole square so we will be looking at some other formulas one of the formula that is new in your book is a plus b plus c whole square so the answer for this is when you take two brackets a plus b plus c in one bracket in another bracket also you are going to take a plus b plus c then you will end up getting this as an answer a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 a b plus b c plus c a so this is the answer that you will be getting so this is called the expanded side and this is called the product side or this is also called the simplified side now sometimes the question might come to you in this form and they might tell you to change in this form and sometimes the question can come in this form and they will tell you to change into this form we'll be looking at one of the questions that is related to this we'll be looking at exercise 3.1 question number six it's first part in this question this question is same as this formula a plus b plus c ka whole square because there are three terms as you guys can see and this is square on the top over, over here as a power so this question you guys can see is in this form or this form it's in this form so you have to change into this form i need to figure out what is a what is b and what is c so i can figure out that a is 2x b is 3 upon x and c is minus 1 so i'm gonna put this question into this form and i'm gonna write 2x whole square plus 3 upon x whole square plus c is minus 1 whole square plus 2 a into b a is 2x into 3 upon x plus 3x 3 upon x into minus 1 plus minus 1 into 2x let's see what we'll be getting as our answer so 2 is a power for x and 2 is also a power for 2 so I'm gonna get 4x square plus 9 upon x square minus 1 multiply 2 times I'm gonna get 1 plus 2 is outside the bracket this and this get can, can get cancelled out so 2 3s are 6 plus and this is gonna become minus so I'm just straight away gonna write minus 3 upon x minus 1 into 2x it's gonna be minus 2x okay I can simplify more further so 4x square plus 9 upon x square plus 1 plus 
टू सिक्स है ट्वेल्व माइनस सिक्स अपॉन एक्स माइनस फोर एक्स सो एज यू गैस कैन सी दिस एंड दिस आर लाइक टर्म्स आई कैन सॉल्व दम फॉर द फोर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस नाइन अपॉन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस थर्टीन माइनस सिक्स अपॉन एक्स माइनस फोर एक्स दिस इज गोना बी माई आंसर There is this other formula that is a minus b whole cube. The answer for this is going to be the expanded form for this is going to be a cube minus b cube minus 3ab bracket a minus b. This is minus. Okay, for your kind information, this is minus. Okay, now we need to discuss a question that is related to this. Okay, we are going to have a look at the question that is related to this from the exercise. So the question is in this form. I need to change in expanded form. That is this form. Okay. So I need to figure out the formula was a minus b whole cube equals to a cube minus b cube minus three ab bracket a minus b bracket close. So I need to figure out what is a. A over here is five x and b over here is three y. Okay. So I'm gonna write the formulas. I have written the formula. I am going to expand this to five x whole cube minus three y whole cube minus three into five x into three y, and the same bracket is going to come five x minus three y. Now I can simplify this more further. That is, five into five into five. I'm going to get one twenty-five x cube minus three into three into three. I'm going to get twenty-seven y cube minus three fives are fifteen and fifteen threes are forty-five. Forty-five x y, and in the bracket it's going to come five x minus three y. I can also simplify this more further. That is, same 125 x cube minus 27 y cube minus 45 into 5. If I multiply, I'm gonna get 225 x into x x square and y. Then this minus and this minus is gonna get multiplied and it's gonna become plus. And 45 into 3, I'm gonna get 135. X and y square. Why y square? Because y is one over here and one over here. When we multiply this, I'm gonna get y square. And this is my answer. One other formula in your books book is a plus b into a minus b. You're gonna get a square minus b square. This is one of the very simple formula, but there are some questions that are gonna be disturbing you guys. So we'll be looking at question number eleven from the exercise. So as you guys can see, this question, this question is in this form, a square. Minus b square. I need to change it into this form. Okay, so this is called the expanded form, expansion form, expanded side, and this is called the product side where the two brackets get multiplied. And this, the question given to you guys, is in the expanded form, and I need to simplify it and bring it into product form. But for that, and even If you guys see just after question number nine, they have written simplify the following from question ten to nineteen. It means I need to simplify and bring this into product form. How to simplify this and bring this into product form? So a square, and you guys can see this whole is a minus, and this whole is b. Okay, so my answer is a plus b and a minus b. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. A minus a square minus b square is a plus b. What is a? This whole is a. So I'm writing it down. A, this whole is a plus b. 
this is b and the other bracket says a whoever has taken the place of a minus b and now you guys can solve the brackets so i'm gonna get if you guys see a plus one upon a plus if i open up the bracket it's gonna be a minus one upon a and this one is a plus one upon a minus is outside the bracket minus a plus one upon a and you guys can see there are some like terms that can be cancelled out this and this can be cancelled out over here this and this can be cancelled out over here so what will i get i'm gonna get 2a okay in the other bracket if you guys see this and this is left both are like terms i can add them so i'm gonna get 2 upon a now they both are getting multiplied if i multiply both of them so this and this get can get cancelled out and what is left with me only 4 is left with me so what is my answer 4 is my answer okay i'll get back to you with some more questions uh, uh, in the next video out of this exercise thank you guys